Welcome everybody. This is Blaine and Magda DeSantis. We're welcoming you to our kitchen. And today we are making a really great Romanian dish. It's Romanian meatball soup, or as they call it over there, Torba de Petishwari. Very good, Torba de Petishwari. That's right. It's, I think you're really going to enjoy it. It is, as I said, traditional to where Magda grew up in Romania and includes this rather unique uh, vegetable called a kohlrabi or a German turnip. So you will see all about that as part of this meatball soup. Thank you so much for joining with us, Magda. I am going to have fun here. I'll invite you to help in a little bit, chopping the vegetables, the left of them. You can help them. Hey, Rabbit. How you doing? <laughs> Very good. Okay. I'm out of here. All right, new episode with No Fear Cooking, and I am super exciting to present the meatball soup, as we call it, Ciorba de Perishuare. And it's an amazing soup, was one of my first soups that I learned to make as a teenager with my mom. She was a great cook. She was a wonderful um, mom. She was teaching us in the kitchen early. She only thought that that would be a present for life. And it is. Now when I look back, it's amazingly happy that I can cook. And I was teaching my kids to cook. And I'll invite you as a parent to invite your children even though they make a mess i know it's a mess job in the kitchen but in half an hour it's all clean so with all this talking i'm going to uh, explain you how i make the meatball soup uh, i already put my pot with one gallon of water takes a little bit more water because we have a big uh, portion i always did it for my family this big reason leftover Soup with leftover is great. You have dinner ready or lunch and a little bit of sandwich and it's done. Or last minute you can invite a friend over because you have, or family, you have already the uh, supper ready. Um, the first time I made my soup, I call it star soup because I forgot to put a main ingredient in my meat I'm going to use today. It's, um, I'm going to use the Lina's ground beef and you have to use some eggs to bind it for the meatballs. Well, when I was younger, I forgot to, and I made it too loose. When I put it in the water, it was like little stars in the soup. So I never did that again. Um, with all this, I'm going to start with the, it's a pretty mainly two steps for the soup. One, to make the meatballs first and drop them in the water to cook for the soup. And the second would be all the vegetables. And that's pretty easy to do. Um, all the vegetables for the summer are in season, fresh, good. So let's use them and enjoy a very good soup. I am going to start explaining how I make my meatballs. That will be two pounds of ground beef. Again, at this point, I can uh, let you know that you can use uh, turkey if you like to. My nephew Sebastian in England is always using turkey. Um, that's what he prefers. He got his family used to the turkey meat, ground turkey, and he's always telling me that's healthier, and that is good. I believe that. So uh, he loves to do that for his uh, two daughters um, and the family. So it's wonderful. So. The ground beef looks very fresh, very good. I love it when I go and it's nice and all nice and pink. Look how nice it is. And I'm going to use my hand into the mixing. So it's okay if I touch it. I'll wash my hands in between. Um, so let me throw this away. Two pounds of ground beef and then I'll go to the next two step. Let, let me just throw this away. All right, for the meat, I'm going to need the two eggs that I have here, but already I beat the eggs. You don't want to, I don't want to take the time. Oh, they'll fly away. <laughs> um, you always want to beat your eggs before you pour them in something because then they mix better. If not, sometimes they have a little bit hard time. This is all good here. Uh, besides the two eggs, I'm going to put a um, teaspoon of black pepper, fresh black pepper, and then I need the measurement for salt. I found it. I am just going to put one teaspoon 
because you don't want to have too much salt and if you need more just add it or to your preference really and then the same thing goes here about quarter cup of rice and I did wash the rice it's any rice you like to have just use it uh, today I have brown basmati rice I, that's what I had I'm going to use this it's fine anything you have to so it's about a quarter and then when they cook the rice is, uh, will explode in it and will give a fluffy texture and just very good taste now uh, some people like to put a little bit of parsley in I'm not going to but if you like to add a little bit of parsley to the soup it's perfect so my favorite soup as when we grew up and I make it in the summer I'm going to mix it by hand I make it in the uh, winter we make it any time of the year that you feel like it is good and you mix it very well it's going to be better for uh, when you cook them because you need uh, the meat to bind with the eggs please and uh, also with the rice and if you have another ingredient I guess you can use it but that's how we made ours when we grew up and it's still the best way to make it it's almost ready just mix it this is take the the longest for the soup to get ready really to make the meat to mix it well and then cutting the vegetables I have to tell you that I always do my vegetables ahead if I know today I cook and I have time I will do my vegetables in the morning for afternoon or a night before how easy that can be and soup oh soups are very economically and very good anybody can uh, start with the water and then go with the rest of the base for a good soup so our favorite soup the meatball soup and I'm going to bring my pot here and drop all the meatballs in you can cut the recipe in half and that will be okay because this it's a pretty big size like a uh, size of a family for the evening and leftover for another night definitely let me go wash my hands so I can bring the pot here and do the meatballs we are ready for the first step and like I said this is takes a little bit longer the first step the next is just a piece of cake quick uh, I'm going to get my corner ready for my spoon I want things to be a little bit easier for me when I clean up I don't mind cooking but I mind cleaning up sometimes like everybody else so if I can make it easier I will I learn many little tricks and everybody probably learn in their own kitchen the same way so what I'm going to do I'm going to put the bowl the spoon in cold water and take the meat and just a little bit roll them around I'm going to make them first put them on a tray and then we'll just drop them in um, in the hot uh, water cooking and it helps a little bit to stay together if you put your hands in cold water and it's about this big I'll say an inch you can make them smaller or you can make them a little bit bigger but this is the perfect size and if you take a little bit too much in your hand you can put it back in the bowl and back to mixing um, I love this soup because we grew up with this and every uh, everyone in Romania still makes it uh, everyone who's from Romania here all my friends they still make it and probably every family has maybe a little bit different special ingredient that they like to do um, I have my sister-in-law in Romania and uh, Daniela she puts a little bit deal into the meat uh, and probably is very good I grew up with just a little bit parsley in uh, but today I don't even going to put a parsley secret is I'm going to put the parsley in the soup when everything is cooked together um, so let's finish these meatballs you don't want to stay with me till I finish them might take 10 minutes so I'm coming back when these are ready I have the water already don't forget have it on high to cook 
and once the water is cooking, that's when we drop our meatballs. Chorba de piftaluce. So, um, meatballs. Yes, talk to you in a second. Our microphone broke down last week. Actually, I put the little one that I use here so I can hear better. It broke down because I put it in the laundry with my apron. I'm telling the secret what I did. I broke it. So I'm going to uh, bring the pot. The water is cooking, and it should be cooking when you start to drop the meatballs. And they stay together. As you see, they are not coming apart. If you see them coming apart, maybe you put a little bit more eggs than two, but they are just perfect. They're staying together. I'm going to drop them very quick so I can put them back to cook. They are going to cook for about 25 minutes on medium high. Just uh, drop them and then watch till they start to boil and then put them on medium, medium high. Uh, not a really fast, cooking a medium is better uh, 25 minutes we want to cook them half through or a little bit more and once we have the meatballs already all done um, I think you can see them here very nice they stay very well together uh, the two eggs for two pounds of meat helps uh, once these are in to the cooking back to the stove we are going to take care of the vegetables. It's all done here. I need something to pick up the pan so I don't put it from the meat on. I cover it this way. And it's going back on the stove for 25 minutes. And we'll take care of the vegetables. I'll come back, let me wash my hand and I'll be right back uh, to cut on the vegetables and tell you just a little bit about it. Everybody loves vegetables. <laughs> and again, I'm going to use uh, also zucchini in my soup. I had two zucchinis, looks a lot here, but they are really only two zucchinis. I'm going to finishing cutting them up. And again, every time I use my Magda's chopper, I have to tell you because it's very inexpensive and you can use it very easy. Also, your younger ones, teenagers, anybody who's in the kitchen and it's willing to help you while you're cooking, this is a great helper and they will love you for that because it's quick and it's easy and no knives for the young ones to cut their hands. So. Um, what else can I tell you about this recipe? Well, I need a knife. I don't have a knife here, so I'm going a knife. I was cutting earlier some vegetables there, yeah. I like also, I prefer to use the leek for my soup here. It's onion, but it's a little bit softer, and I love the taste of it. I didn't discover it till I met Daniela. She was Daniela Ekoboye, and I love her so much and her family, her mom and dad, and they use this a lot. So I'm going to cut this uh, leek and use it for the soup today. And you do have to cut this. You cannot use the chopper. It's uh, too bad, but it's okay. Uh, and I'm going to cut it very fine, and it's going to give a wonderful taste to our soup. And also, uh, it's uh, softer and um, tastes a little bit in between onion and a tint of garlic, somebody was telling me. I don't have that taste, but that's what they're saying. Um, again, um, I'm going to finish this cutting. It's a whole uh, top, only the white. Oh, when you wash it also, remember to open it just a little bit when you rinse it because it has a little bit sand. They grow up in sand. So everybody knows that, but maybe there are younger cooks who do not know that. So when you wash it, I go like, hold it like this and, and look how it comes uh, away. So you can uh, really wash it good, please. Uh, so you won't have any sand in. Uh, what else am I using in this soup? I use myself one potato. My family got used to that, just one. I'm using uh, four carrots all together, four ribs of celery all together, 
Uh, it's not a lot because as you know, vegetables really go down. I'm going to watch on my soup for a second. Soup is cooking very well, the, the meatballs, and I put them on medium, and I'm going to just finish chopping the vegetables. So you see, you have your meatballs ready, uh, and in between, you do the, the vegetables. It's very easy to uh, cook this way. I'm going to, oh, also, you can make the meatballs the night before. I did that too, and you put them in the refrigerator, on a tray, cover them nice, and just, Next day, you have the meal very quick done. It's really so many ways that we can um, help uh, with the cooking. Also, in the evening, uh, you know, usually everybody's home if they're working. Uh, if children are away from school and they're home, they can help. Right now, I think everybody's a little bit more home and I feel so it's so hard to say uh, for the people in high school and college they are more home because they cannot go with the pandemic right now so please um, help your parents to cook also it's good for you to learn so i'm having the onion the leeks already done here i have most of the vegetables i cut them earlier because you don't want to sit here and watch me cutting all the vegetables the zucchini i'll cut with my my helper and I'll finish the onion in a second. But I want to cut this, I want to show you. And you do know that. And I'm putting the zucchini separately because I'll literally drop them just for five minutes. They don't need too long to cook. So zucchinis are done. This was one of the soup that at home we grew up with um, my mom saying, oh, we're going to put a little bit of this, we're going to put a little bit of that, and a lot of recipes we grew up like that. So um, we have to uh, measure or learn a new way. Um, so it's not too bad. Actually, today I was looking for a Romanian cookbook I have from my mom. She sent it to me when I came in 84. I wasn't a good cook. I was still about 22 years old, and I didn't pay too much attention sometimes. So certain meals I did not know how to cook, and she did send me. I'll show you. I'm so proud I still have a very good Romanian book. It's called Carte de Bucate, and we are very proud because at one time, we couldn't even find any Romanian books when we got here in the States, which it's hard to cook a different uh, ways of life in the States here. But we are very proud also to learn all our ways here. Uh, I'm going to finish cutting the vegetables and checking on my meatballs, and I'll come back in about five minutes. 25 minutes went by having the meatballs cooking and I stayed there to get them going and then I went to medium. I don't want to hurry the meat. I like to go a little bit slower. If you have even more time, you can put it very low and keep it for 25 to 30 minutes. It's halfway done. The meat is good already. I taste it. It's good. I'll show you one meatball when I take it out, but also I'm going to bring the pot here and I'm going to dump in all the vegetables, all these aromatic vegetables, celery and onions and carrots and zucchini and a potato. And I will have another special ingredient, not a big secret, but it's help for the soup. Look how nice. I'm going to show it here to this camera, but then also, it's all nice and you can see the rice it puffed up looks very good and i will take a meatball just to show how it looks inside and um, they stay look how nice they stay they stay very very nice as uh, all together they stay very good yeah they are all they didn't 
go apart. They are not stars like I did it the first time. Oh, I lost my spoon. I lost my spoon. So let me see. I'm going to cut it in half and look at it. Oh, you can see the rice. It's nice and puffed in. Oh, smells good. I'm going to even taste it. Mmm. On the salt, perfect. The taste is good. They stay together. You can put a little bit more salt. I'd rather add later if I need to, always. And look how they are on top. The meatballs are really nice. And you can see they are ready because they are really nice and they are coming on top. So that's good. It looks good. Now, the last step we do, we are going to add all the vegetables. Let me look. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. Mm. I'm going to add all the vegetables. And they are not that many because they will shrink a little bit. And two pounds of meat might be too much for two people, but for a family of four that we are this weekend. And also, I do want to say um, a happy anniversary to myself and my husband, Blaine DeSantis. It's our anniversary, 27 years. It's a secret. I won't tell everybody how many years, but no, <laughs> I'm excited. And this soup was the first one that he was learning about Romanian custom of soup. So I'm going to keep the zucchini for one more, five more minutes. I'll put them right at the end of the soup. This will go in for 20 minutes. And here was the potato. Yep. Anniversary in September. Oh, and we have a friend in Romania who's going to get married in a week. So Lavinia and Daniel uh, Casa de Piatra, God bless your marriage and enjoy it. It's a wonderful road. Again, you chose each other, so it's perfect. I'm going back to my soup again. I guess I talk too much, but it's so much to say, too. This soup reminds me so much of a lot of when we grew up, about friends in Romania, friends here in the States. I have a lot of friends who like my soup here. Let me uh, give a mix. Look at the pretty vegetables here. And also, at this soup, I also like to add this uh, curaba. I'm not so sure how to pronounce it. Gulia in Romanian, but also it's a German um, family of the, family of the, let me see, cabbage, <laughs> wild and turnip. Thank you, Nathaniel. And I did the, the potato. Uh, one more thing I'm going to add. Uh, usually I like to add two beef bouillon to my soup and another teaspoon of salt. Yep, two bouillons. If you don't like the chicken, the beef bouillons, I do have this uh, helper for the soup. It's a good taste to the soup, to the vegetables, to the meat. I'm going to put a teaspoon of this and uh, finishing with two teaspoon, two of the bouillons. Um, also, I'm going to put, I washed a quarter cup of rice. I put some rice in the meatballs, but Traditionally, you also put in the soup, uh, loose a little bit of the rice. So I washed it, a quarter cup only. Let's put the vegetables to cook for another uh, 20 minutes. Remember, adding the zucchini the last 10 minutes or eight minutes. Also, right at the end, I'm going to add, it's optional, a V8 about a cup and a half. You don't have to, I like to. Most of the time, people in, um, that I know, they don't add any of the tomatoes. But the V8 adds a very specific taste. Again, don't have to, it's optional. Let me put it back at the cooking station. And I'm going to show it to my camera here. fresh vegetables they look good and I'm ready to go put it to cook for another 20 minutes and soup should be almost ready lots of good vegetables I said that before and one more thing I'm going to touch on it the zucchini I put them the last five minutes because they are still going to cook the soup is very hot 
and it's still going to cook, so I don't want to mush. I leave the skin on, then they stay firmer. Also, I add it at that time or any time with the vegetables, the V8, the original. I only have small cans because you might not want to open a big jar for one cup and a half of the juice, and that's optional. A lot of times, I don't put it in. I'm just going to put it here. Don't put it in. But sometimes I put just tiny bit. Today I felt like I want to put uh, that last product that I don't talk about it. Also, the last thing I'm going to put, it's parsley. Parsley always gives a good flavor. It's very healthy for us. We always have it in the garden or you buy it. And um, when you buy it, because it's so much and it's pretty expensive, please put it in a bag like this and put it in the refrigerator will last for almost three weeks. I promise you, try it. This is about three weeks in the refrigerator. So I put it in water, put it in, in that and close it in the refrigerator goes and stays for three weeks fresh. It always stays better when it's fresh, the parsley in the soup. And I'm going to mix it. Ah, look at this pretty, uh, Look how nice it looks. It smells good. It's going to be delicious. If you have soup in the house for me, I feel like I have a whole meal for lunch, dinner, or two days. And this will be definitely, four people will have it for two days and a little bit left over. One more thing I add. Oh, I want to show you how the meatball looks inside. Very nice. I took two out to cool, and the rice keeps... Uh, moist inside and uh, the meat got a little bit um, uh, softer and cooked all together like I said 45 minutes ready to serve I put it in my bowl and when I serve it in Romania we learn and we always do that we put a blob one spoon or less of sour cream on top just like that look at this and it's absolutely delicious mix it if you like to a little bit and with the sour cream i don't know that's what my mom always did so i'll do it too and um it's a tradition to put a little bit of sour cream on the side not in the whole pot because you might not like that and then um i'll give a taste tonight we are going to have with the whole family the meatball soup and i invite you to try it if you like it please give me a like subscribe tell your friends about it i like to share my food with you always do and i always remember when i learned something from our friends uh, family long time ago to share my recipes and teach other people so i'm going to just perfect don't need any more salt you can add a little bit and a little bit fresh pepper and with this i'm going to say Manja, manja, till next time, pofta buna, and have a good week.